In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss five incredible, hugely valuable, and, and quite honestly, mammoth free SQL learning resources that I've used pretty consistently over the last few years. And these consist of three websites, two YouTube channels, and a lot of incredible features. Now, the reason that I chose these, uh, there's well, there's a few reasons. Number one, they're all completely free. Uh, number two, the amount of content and the range of experts that have contributed to these is simply fantastic. And between them, these should have enough, more than enough, levels of content, practice questions, interview questions, how-to guides, cheat sheets, cookbooks, to really get you started if you want to become an expert within SQL and the wider data platform, because these all, all link into there as well. Now, I've also chosen my first example to be one that quite a lot of people may not know. Uh, by example four and five, I'll have some mammoth well-known resources, so stick around for them also. Like I said, many of you may not know this resource. This is LearnSQL.com. Of course, a, a pretty popular website as far as I know, but it may be more well known for its courses. However, if you go into this articles tab, you can get a lot of really nice specific tutorial examples. So here we've got the best database books you should know. So that's a bit more general. But then we go into actual real life, real world scenarios like uh, recursive SQL, um, multiple joins in one SQL query, uh, seven advanced SQL queries for data analysis. But what I really like about Learn SQL also, as well as these resources and these articles, you've got the option to look into cookbooks and cheat sheets. So that's something that I found really appealing because on the face of it, the articles could look more geared towards beginners or intermediates, but then you go into the cookbook, which really caters towards all levels of SQL. And I like that it's segregated into sort of both all ANSI standard languages, and you can go in and drill down into SQL Server and so on. In this example here, we've got how to add a column in SQL. And one thing as well as providing very clear code snippets, I like the that the, the layout is just very intuitive. Navigating around this website is, is very easy. Some of the more dense examples we look at, there's a lot more categories. It's a really friendly interface here. And again, we've got things like cheat sheets you can go in and dive into. Um, I can't remember exactly if there are any conditions to downloading these PDF cheat sheets, but as far as sort of an all-in-one platform goes, if that's your thing, uh, this is pretty good, I would say, especially if you're at more of a beginner to intermediate level. At this stage, I want to take a slight break from websites and look at YouTube channels. And the first one is the Tech TFQ YouTube channel. And there's a lot of really fantastic contents here. So I like that there's a mix between how-to guides, such as sort of interview questions, uh, CVs, breaking into industry, how to write complex queries, but there's also a very detailed how-to tutorials. So learn complete SQL, for example, we've got full playlists, a couple of shorts there. But if we go back into the videos and look at the popular options, you'll see we've got join tutorials, um, We've got SQL interview questions, which is one of the really valuable aspects of this channel. And the next one that we'll look at uh, by two complex data professionals within their own right. So again, more actual how-to real world tutorials like deleting duplicate data or rows. Um, he reviews platforms, resume format, and he seems to strike the balance perfectly uh, between sort of how-to guides and actual technical tutorials. Now, in similar fashion, but there's a slight difference here, is Ankit Bansal, um, who is a data engineer at Amazon. So a lot of this seems to be catered as well towards people who may want to enter Fang or Mang companies. Again, there is a balance between how-to guides. Here we see data analyst roadmap, but then there's also a divergence into really good how-to how tutorials. But what I like here, is there's a lot of real world breakdowns as to how to answer sort of things like interview questions, but for larger companies like Walmart Labs, or we may have, you know, looking into the Microsoft, Amazon, Fang area. And then 
a complete switch back to technical tutorials, as we would see with Tech TFQ. But what Ankit seems to be very good at is going ahead and reviewing sort of um, real interview questions that are taken from Fortune or Fang or Mang companies. Uh, and I like that because that sort of sits well within his experience as someone who works for Amazon. And a lot of people will likely take a lot of um, faith or, or trust in, in his sort of perspective there. So it's a really good, uh, really good alternative to Tech TFQ. And now in terms of website resources, I'm, I'm always astounded in any of their language tutorials. It's geeksforgeeks, of course, .org. But whether it's Python, Java, uh, SQL, um, Python and SQL may be of most interest within the data profession, obviously. But they have a bulk tutorial for languages. And in SQL, it's just incredible the amount of content they have. So if we look through basics, uh, this is just a very small fraction, but I want to show the, the structure and how good this is. So everything's very well broken down in terms of things like using CTEs we've got here, use cases, advantages, and so on. Um, it's, it's just really comprehensive. I like the features and limitations. And then we move into similar reads. So again, there's almost a constant stream of information and really more than you can you can sort of work with. But then when we get into clauses and operators, it's just insane the amount of information. So from the basics like exists, group by uh, additional whatever mathematical operators into some of the offset fetches, and then into more advanced topics like SQL injection, functions, queries, and a lot of RDBMS specifics that you potentially wouldn't see um, all in one platform especially when it's free. And then again, you get more general sort of blog-like advice, which is a really nice mix. So some of the applications, because when you're learning a language, you really want to know how you're gonna use that in the real world. And lastly, we have mssqltips.com. Of course, this is more dedicated towards Microsoft technology and SQL Server, not necessarily just the SQL Server, uh, Azure SQL, um, SSIS, the Power Platform as well, and some of the uh, the Azure technology. But again, the, the level of information, and this time by by quite senior people who are DBAs predominantly, the the input is, is quite overwhelming, uh, but really good. Takes a, uh, a bit longer than things like Learn SQL to Learn to navigate. But that's just because of the extent of information. So for example, if we go into T SQL tips, SQL server tips, uh, the standard sort of SQL language, the array of information or articles is incredible. We've got quite generic things like use cases of SQL average, but then we go into things like trigonomic functions, ca calculating mathematical values, back into count more basics. And then we have things like geospatial data, um, case expression and join clause. And then back to more simple elements like uh, coalesce, and in here, drop columns. Looking at the article structure, it's great. I like that there's always a problem statement, a solution, and the, the level of information and code snippets is fantastic. And there's usually almost over one way of, of solving a particular problem. And there's usually a lot of performance testing that goes along with that. So you can be guaranteed it's really thorough. And then if we go back into all categories and DBA, for example, Again, a huge amount of information, and these are just two tiny subsections of the site, but we've got handy things, again, more sort of blog-like articles as well, a DBA checklist, again, a problem statement, so we can realize how this is going to be used in the real world, and a range of solutions. So absolutely fantastic content here. This is more geared towards DBAs, SQL intermediate to experts, people who are really passionate about performance and things. But these are all a great range of resources. And if you were to implement all five of these in your toolkit, you'd be well on your way to constantly upskilling or becoming an expert.